Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rand. I like to film videos about my experiences and today we're going to be starting my new quarantine series, my vlog slash quarantine series. And to start it off, we are going to be embarking on a journey. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be cleaning my closets, plural which means it's gonna be a fun time. Cleaning my closet is one of the most dreaded tasks that I have to go through every season-ish. And honestly, I don't do it that often. Cleaning out my closet, getting rid of the clothes that I don't want because I, I don't know why I build this attachment with my clothes. Like, like I don't want to waste my clothes, okay? So I, I just want to like keep them in my closet just in case one day I'm gonna wear it. But the chances are very slim that I'm actually gonna wear most of these items again. So we're gonna be donating some of these clothes we are gonna be getting rid of the clothes that I don't want and yeah if you want to see what happens in this video how many pieces of clothing I get rid of then keep watching so before we start, I don't think I explained why this is called the Florentine series. So I'm actually back in Canada now and I was in Dubai for a bit more than a month. We have to quarantine for 14 days, aka not leave the house, not see anybody. So my plan is to keep myself entertained and film videos that probably nobody's gonna be interested to watch, but I want to film. That's gonna be fun. Anyway, we are not gonna stall any longer. Let's just get this get this video started. Okay guys, so I got this coffee so that we have enough energy to go through this entire two closets. Are you guys ready for the closet reveal? It's definitely going to be anticlimactic, don't get too excited, but 3, 2, 1... Is it what you expected? Listen, I've been out of the country for a while, so don't blame me, okay? Just... Stop it. Stop looking at me like that. So the first, what do you call this? What do you call this? Shelf? Shelf. Okay, so the first part of the closet that we're gonna tackle is this shelf. As you can tell, it's predominantly shirts because this is my shirt shelf and all the other shelves are actually pants. I don't know why I have so many pants. I'll show you guys in a sec. Also, this is there's more clothing in my luggage bag that I haven't opened because I wanted to clean out my closet first. So yeah, let's just get started. So this stuff over here is, you know, for my mom. So these can go in a different area because I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing them anytime soon. We're just gonna start a, a couple different piles. So the stuff that has to be moved, the stuff that I'm gonna donate and the stuff that can't be donated. I think that's it. I'm not gonna be selling any clothes because none of my clothes are worth selling. So all these are going in a different spot. So now the shirt, are you guys ready? This is just a beige top. No, like will I ever wear this and why? And it looks really tiny. I haven't worn it since I actually bought it one time when I wore it one time. It's from H&M. I don't know. I don't think it's my style anymore. So I'm just gonna donate this one. This shirt. It's from Garage. I've worn it when I got it, but I haven't worn it since. It's like a backup black shirt. Am I ever gonna wear this? At this time, I don't really like this shirt. What do you guys think? It's not my style anymore. I think I'm just gonna donate this one as well. This is already hard and I want a shirt too. Okay, next. This is my Portugal the Man shirt that I got at their concert. You know the song that goes, feel it still. Since 1966, I've been on. Hopefully, maybe you guys, some of you guys know this band, but I really like this shirt. I don't know. Oh, it's kind of cool. This is my chill shirt. So I'm gonna keep this one. Maybe I'll tie dye it. This shirt, I literally used to wear this shirt all the time. I freaking love this shirt. If I got a new one, I would wear it all the time. But I think this is just overly worn. And I don't know, it's just, it's so cute. It used to be even cuter, but I don't know. It's like overly worn. And I, I don't know, it just makes me not want to wear it. And I don't think it's my style anymore. So I think this one's going to the donation pile. This shirt, I literally can't get myself to wear anymore. It's just not my style at all. It's like too, you know, like, I don't know. It's too frilly. This shirt, I'm definitely gonna get rid of. Okay, maybe I'll stop explaining everything to you guys because it's gonna take me five years to edit this if I, you know, keep explaining to you guys. Okay, so to not make this video longer than it needs to be or longer than you would like to watch, I'm gonna speed this process up, go through the shirts, and then we'll regroup when I get to the pants section, so. My first YouTube video, and honestly, looking at it kind of makes me cringe because it reminds me of that YouTube video. And I don't know, I feel kind of bad, but I can't look at the shirt anymore. The shirt section is finally done. 
Looks so clean. I don't know why I'm starting to feel bad about getting rid of so many clothes, but I don't know why I should keep them if I just don't wear them. I don't know if my mom is going to be proud of me or just upset. Like, why are you getting rid of all these clothes that you could potentially wear one day? Is that the way that I should think or should I just get rid of the clothes that I just am not wearing? So a lot of you are probably wondering, like, why the heck are you filming this video? Maybe, maybe this will inspire you guys to start cleaning out your closet because you know you need to, but you just don't want to do it. So. Hopefully this video gives you that inspo. Okay, so I'm moving the pants section down so that we can actually see it. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know why I just don't like jeans anymore. They're, I'm kind of over them. They are done for me. Like I'm just gonna wear anything but jeans from now on unless it's like the super stretchy material. I don't want jeans in my life. They're just a source of negativity. So we're just gonna get rid of most of them. Okay, these I wore quite a few times. I don't, I don't wanna look at them anymore. These, these were really cute at the time, but I just, I don't know. They're, I can't. Oh, I used to. <laughs> Every pair of jeans is bringing back some memories. I used to wear these all the freaking time. I love the fact that this area was a different color than this area. So these were the bomb.com. I think these will fit, but I think they just won't look cute anymore. Should I try them on? Okay guys, so I'm gonna be honest, those pants did not fit, but we're not gonna be talking about that. <laughs> we're just gonna move on and get rid of pretty much all these pants, so. We're gonna get rid of these. We're gonna get rid of these. We're gonna get rid of these. Did I just get rid of all my pants? Yes, yes I did. Next up is the random other clothing pants that I have. Okay, we're getting to the last section of my closet. This area right here. Don't mind the messiness of it because we're just cleaning it, right? That's what we're doing, so you're not gonna judge me. And that's it for the first part of my closet. Yes, it's actually all empty and I have to like refold the stuff, but look how many things I got rid of. Here, I'll show you guys. Okay, so I guess we'll start the folding process now. So enjoy this little time lapse. Okay guys, so I just finished this side of the closet and now we're gonna start on this side. So yeah, let's begin. So this side of my closet is mostly like sweaters and jackets. Okay, I guess we'll just get started. Do I wanna keep this? I feel like I should keep it. Why not? Okay, so I think I'm just gonna come back to this section because right now I have all my jackets in there and I don't know, something about it seems a little bit off. Maybe I'll just move it into my other closet, which we're gonna get to right now. Okay guys, we are about to start cleaning my last closet and I'm not gonna stall anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. <gasps> Ta-da! Are you scared? I think it also really needs to be organized by color, so we're gonna do that too. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. I don't even know how to start this. I haven't worn this dress since high school. Should I keep it? Okay, so now I'm working on this side of the closet, which is mostly like jackets, winter jackets. If you're not from a cold area, you probably don't know what that means. It's pretty much a layer of clothing that you wear to try to protect you from the very cold weather, but nine times out of 10, it just doesn't work. Anyways. Okay guys, so I just took out all the dresses and I'm gonna get rid of the ones that I don't want. And then I'm gonna put back the dresses and see if there's space for the sweaters. Okay. 
Okay guys, so it's six hours later after I started this video and uh, I've just been cleaning slash procrastinating slash organizing my closets. Hopefully it looks good. I don't know if you guys will see a difference, but to me there's a huge difference. So I'm gonna first show you this closet and then the other closet. Ready? Three, two, one. Ta-da! What do you guys think? I put all my sweaters here and I organize them by color. The only thing that's really bothering me though, I hope it won't bother you after you see it, is the hangers. Like they're not matching and it's really bothering me. I think if they were matching, it would look more cohesive and stuff. And I'll show you guys the other side. Ta -da! Hopefully you can see that way. So this is the other side. I just pretty much organized this by color and I put the dresses over here and that's pretty much it. Like this is my jackets and my dresses. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you this closet. Three, two, one. Ta-da! I still haven't added my luggage, so it's kind of empty, but it looks really neat. I tried to organize this part by color, everything by color, but it was hard because I don't have like a proper gradient of colors. I just have random. I think it looks pretty neat compared to how we started. So, okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the reveal. I hope that you saw a difference and I hope this video maybe inspired you to start cleaning your closet and to stop hoarding and keeping things that you probably don't need. Maybe you enjoyed this video, maybe you didn't. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. This video was pretty much a lot of work because I actually had to clean my closet because you guys were literally watching me do it and if I didn't finish it then the video wouldn't be finished so literally had to do it. Keep an eye out for my future Florentine videos and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh my gosh was that super annoying or what? <laughs>